Just in case you guys were wondering what that was, that was an AI rendering of an airboat. Today, we're going to go ahead and build something similar in Stormworks and see if we can get from here, over on this main island, over to there, where the Frantic Lighthouse is. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out by getting ourselves a seat, attach that straight onto there like so, and then build it backwards from there like this. We're then going to go forwards from there, we'll build up a wall. This is where our instrumentation and stuff is going to be, and that's pretty awesome. From there, we're going to go up a step, take it out forwards, and we're going to have a bit of a, uh, a deck on the front. What we'll then do is build it backwards just like this. There we go. Uh, we'll build that bit backwards as well. Uh, and then we'll go forwards like so. We'll have two of those, yes. And then we'll have one of these, and that is great, yes. We'll also build it backwards quite far like so, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, about the right shape, I think. Okay, there we go. So, so far, I think this looks all right. We are going to obviously need to add an actual hull to this. So let's go ahead and start by adding this into here, like so. We're then going to go ahead and chuck this guy on, send that forwards as well. And then we'll chuck this guy on, send that forwards, and attach this guy to there like that. We're then obviously going to make an actual hull out of this, but it isn't going to be very uh, deep. So we'll only go down maybe one or two more blocks. And there we go. I think that's how shallow I actually want this thing to be. What we're going to do from there is send this guy to the back. We're going to delete, I don't know, maybe five? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, but we're going to go with it. So we're going to shove this guy on the top at the uh, end there. We're going to go and check this guy in here as well. Send these guys together there. Send it together there as well. Shove this guy in the center. And this right here is where the blades are going to go. I think what I'm going to do as well is actually attach maybe one of these guys into here. So delete those. Shove this onto here like this. Send this bit across. That's all good. I wanted to see if it floated, not if it flew. <laughs> okay, so it's just fallen out the sky and it has flipped on its roof. That's okay for right now. At least we know that it floats. Let's go ahead and chuck a... I was going to say a keel. It's not going to go any like lower than the boat is right now. I want it to have a flat bottom, but let's go ahead and chuck this in because we can. So... Uh, about five or six weight blocks right there, maybe seven or eight actually. There we go. We'll lower it down so it doesn't have to fall out the sky this time. And we'll see what happens. Oh, it's still really high. Here we go. Landed underneath the water, coming back up to the surface, and hopefully it levels out quite a bit. Yeah, that's not terrible. So it currently weighs quite a lot towards the front because there are more blocks there. So what we're going to do is add the engine and obviously the propellers to the back. Now the thing is, I need these propellers to not hit into anything. So we're going to send this backwards like this. Go to propeller and I need to figure out which one we need. So a propeller end light, that looks pretty good. If not too big, that might be a little bit too large. But I don't think I've got any smaller ones. Yeah, I don't think I've got any smaller ones, so we're gonna have to go with that. Now, honestly, I kind of want to use that and another one. So, let's go with Rotor Light, which is this guy. Check that on there, make it two blades instead of four. Make it neutral and as small as it can go. We're then gonna go with an end piece, check that on there as well. We're then gonna go ahead and make that tiny, make it neutral, and... Yeah, we can use that. That looks pretty ridiculous to me, but we're going to go with it a little bit. However, what I want to do is make it a little bit less crazy by using some pipes in here instead of just going fully with blocks. There we go. Check those guys onto there, those guys onto there, and these guys across the top like this. Yeah, it makes it a little bit lighter and kind of cooler. So, now that we've done that, we need to double it up, unfortunately. Which means I need to go through all of this <laughs> and double it up. Alright, move this inwards uh, to, there we go. Go ahead and copy it. Move it out backwards. I think to there. We can then paste that in, merge it all together, and that's all good. Yeah. Uh-oh, I think that might be too heavy for it now. <laughs> it's tipped over completely. Oh, you know what? I actually need to attach this down as well, so we're gonna go to this piece. I'm gonna chuck that on there like that. Same on this guy. And then I think I'm just gonna go with one of these like this. Yeah. Uh, on the underside, I guess I could do that and that. 
and that looks pretty stable to me. The thing is, I don't want to be able to get sucked into this thing at all, so we're going to have to add some, like, other supports on here somehow. I just don't really know where I'm going to put them. I have a tiny bit of an idea, but I don't know what it's going to look like. <laughs> right, so, go ahead and go to rails. Here we go. We're going to chuck this guy on here like this, sort of. There we go. Um, I guess I'm going to chuck another one on there next to it. So we're going to go with this guy. And then we're going to chuck another one on there next to that like this. There we go. So it's somewhat, like, sealed off from me, at least. Kind of. We then need to put an engine in there. And then I think that'll be fine. Maybe. I might do another one. Alright, delete this. Chuck one of these guys on there instead. Chuck that next to it. And I'm actually going to send that across like that. Okay. So far, so good, I think. That right there does not look terrible to me. So, what we're going to do now is actually add an engine to this thing. And then get it moving, I guess? Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Also, I just realized this isn't an end piece. This one is an end piece, so this needs swapping with that, apparently. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd done it that way around. Oh, I'd actually added two of those. All right, I don't know what's going on here, but it's fine. Uh, we've now fixed it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is power this thing with an engine, uh, which means we're going to need an engine, we're going to need fuel, we're going to need a way to cool it, etc, etc. There's quite a lot that we need to do now. So let's go ahead and type in engine, and we'll go straight to it. Actually, let's get a gearbox first. Whack that on there, because that's going to be important. And then the engine can start. Okay, so... Crankshaft is not the next thing. We need a clutch to go on there next. There we go. We then need the crankshaft to go on there. So one, two, three. Uh, I think a six-cylinder engine would be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get six cylinders. One, two, three. Excellent. That's six all together. And then we're going to have to attach these guys together. Make sure they've got exhaust, cooling, fuel, and air. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And hopefully it'll look okay. Uh, the last thing that I need to add to the engine, though, is one of... Where is it? One of these. There we go. Belt drive. Cool. Engine installed. This has exhaust, it has fuel, it has air, and it has cooling all in this little package right here. So, what we need to do now is, uh, I guess, add a microcontroller to make this thing work. We then need to add rudders to the back of this to make this thing work. And then we can fly about, I guess. I mean, drive around? Sail around. I don't know. How about we shove the propellers on now? No, not the propellers, the rudders. We're going to need them on the back of here somewhere, so I think what I'll do is I'll mirror this on both sides. We're going to go ahead and chuck this up to, like, here or whatever. We're going to go to control surfaces, and hopefully we can fit some of these guys on the back kind of like this. Yeah, I feel like that's actually fine. They're a little bit big, but that's okay. In fact, actually, it'd be really nice if I could fit them in there. That'd be really cool. So, delete these guys. Go to the inside. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit one of these in there or not. Delete this. Chuck that on there. Delete all of these guys. Yep. Chuck this guy back. Grab ourselves another propeller. Uh, the end one. There we go. Chuck that onto... Oh, no, actually. No, 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 no. Control surfaces. <laughs> there we go. Check that onto there next. One and two. And then we'll delete this guy and this guy. We'll then go to uh, propeller. And hopefully that'll do. I think it will. There we go. All right. So make that tiny. Make it neutral. Make it two blades instead of four. And that looks sick. That looks pretty good. We're almost ready to go. What I need is a numerical switch box. Yes, actually, if I just type in switch box, I have a microcontroller for it. We're going to go ahead and chuck this in the front end like so. We are then going to attach this guy to uh, the collective on these. The off value is going to be one. The on value is going to be minus one so that we actually have a reverse gear or a reverse, I suppose. We're then going to uh, attach this to number one, and number one is going to be for reverse. Okay, um, let's go ahead and jump into it and see how this works. Hopefully, it'll be good. Uh, it doesn't really have very much fuel, but hopefully it'll be kind of efficient as well. So, we'll see what happens. Go ahead and turn on the key. Alright, there we go. 
And drive! Go, go, go! Oh, that is... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It needs to be minus one. It does. It needs to be minus one. Uh, on the... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, minus one here. And positive one here. Okay. Uh, the other thing we need to do is change the gearbox to be, like... Uh, nine to five? Sure. Here we go! Go, 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 go! Okay, so... We are gonna need some sort of control. That means that we drive in, a, in like, the correct height. But, that's okay for now. It sort of works. Kind of. And there we go. I put a gyro inside of this thing so that hopefully it stays relatively level. Which is working fine. The only issue is, we don't actually have any control <laughs> over steering. I'm trying to turn left here, and in real life, this should work out fine. However, in Stormworks, I can't turn at all, so we might have to add some, uh, some rudders somewhere else to actually turn us, because this ain't working. Let's try that again. Here we go. Turn to the left. That is working now. Turn to the right. That is also working now. Excellent, yes. So in case you're wondering, I just added three of these guys to the bottom, and that allows it to turn. Beautiful. I think we need a little bit more detail around this boat, though, so let's go ahead and add a tiny bit more detail, and then I think we'll call it there. It's looking pretty good, and it's working really, really well. The thing is, I think once I introduce some, like, wind and stuff like that, it won't really deal with that very well, but we'll wait and see. There we go. What do we think of that? We got ourselves some nav lights on the sides now. I've gone ahead and put a winch on the front. I've got some ropes on the sides right here. We've gone ahead and added this little bump on the front as well. Uh, on the rear, we've got another na nav light back here. Um, overall, I actually really like it. We're going to have to add some searchlights somewhere as well. Some, like, forward-facing lights. And possibly uh, something else. I can't remember what. Um, I also want to paint the deck at the front a little bit differently as well. Because currently it's it's not looking too great. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll add another light facing forwards. And that'll be great. I actually think a little light right there. Although it looks pretty weird. Will actually be pretty good. So uh, we're going to need a button for that somewhere. That'll be fine. I then want to add more lights. We're actually going to go with just normal ones. I'm going to chuck one of them back here in the center, because that'll give a decent amount of light. And we'll chuck one of them at the front right there. So let's go ahead and paint this like this. Uh, that guy can be painted just like that. And that's all good. Yeah. Uh, another thing that we kind of need is some equipment. At the minute, we've pretty much got no equipment on board, except a winch and some rope. So let's go ahead and find a place for some proper equipment to actually be. And there we go, we got ourselves a welder, an underwater welder, two first aid kits. On the other side, we've got a defibrillator, two first aid kits, and a fire extinguisher. That should be everything this thing sort of needs. That is great. That is so cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is delete this piece right here. We're going to get ourselves a button, which is going to be a toggle button. Shove that into there like so. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and paint the side of it. We're going to paint the actual thing itself, the color. And we're going to go ahead and label this lights. Essentially, what this is going to control is uh, the deck lights, these two, and also this light up here, which is the, uh, the searchlight. Okay, go ahead and do those. There we go. Everything else is connected to the electricity already, except these guys and this guy. All right, everything else is connected. Beautiful. Uh, I think we're also going to connect um, the key to these backlights right here so the backlights actually turn on. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're actually done. Uh, the problem that I did see a second ago though was that we were kind of sinking a little bit. So I need to fix that somehow. It is making its way to the surface. There's a little bit of water on the deck, but not enough for it to be a massive problem. So let's go ahead and get in our seat. We'll turn on the key. There we go, we'll turn on the lights as well because we can. And we'll just start going. Yes! We don't have infinite fuel on right now, so let's go ahead and see if we can get from here to our island over there, which is the thing that we wanted to do at the start. I think this is going to be, like, extremely efficient anyway, so it's totally working. That's great. That is so cool. Look at her go! You know, it would be so much nicer if this thing was uh, a little bit faster, to be honest. So we might have to increase its speed, because at the minute, what are we going, like 12 meters per second? 
Yeah, that's not that's not terribly fast. Okay, 17 seems pretty good to me. There we go. Yeah, she's motoring along now. Beautiful. Uh, we are going to run out of fuel very quickly, though. Or at least a lot quicker than we were going to a second ago. <laughs> but that's alright. That is okay. As long as we make it to the island and possibly back, that would be great. Oh, we've made it all the way out here. The issue is we are currently bouncing quite a bit because of the gyro. Uh, that might be slowing us down, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and turn ourselves around now, and we're going to boat ourselves all the way back. I don't think we've got enough fuel for this, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Oh, look, there we go. 0.6. Uh, we are still quite far away. Realistically, we could go a little bit slower and be a little bit more efficient, which means that the tiny fuel tank will be fine. But... I don't know. I kind of like the speed. I don't like the wobbling, but I like the speed. Oh, it's at zero. We are still motoring along. We're running on fumes right now. Literally running on fumes. Keep going. We're almost there. Keep going. Hopefully my engine runs for just a little tiny bit longer. Come on. Our speed is still good. Our fuel does still say zero. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. But we did actually make it all the way back. Nice! Yeah, we did it! There we go, I fixed the gyro a little bit and now it seems to run kind of okay, which is pretty good. So, I am going to leave this video here for now. I know it was a bit of a weird one, a bit of a quick one, and uh, I kind of enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you like it, if you don't like it, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.